It is young and will take time to create a pool of talent and a pipeline of inventions. So we have embarked on a radically new model to accelerate technology development. QSTP has a very clear strategy which focuses on energy, the environment, health sciences, and information and communications technology. This strategy recognizes the needs of Qatar's economy and society, as well as its natural strengths and constraints. Under this magnificent roof, we are providing funding for research, development, and training with major international companies and universities. As you arrived and walked through our partners' exhibition stands, you saw examples of research being carried out here. As you can see, our research is anchored to our strong industries where they exist. And when they don't exist, we will use technology to create them. Let me give you an example. Qatar is blessed with sunshine, and we recognize that one day solar energy will play a key role in the energy mix. We are therefore looking at an exciting project in collaboration with Qatar Petroleum to produce polysilicon, a high-grade raw material used to make solar cells. We won't stop there. We are pleased today to announce a strategic alliance with a new Qatari company called Green Gulf. Green Gulf will carry out a feasibility study to build a small demonstrator solar plant to research the engineering and economics of power production and build national human capacity and create more new Qatari companies as well. The other major announcement we have today is in the healthcare area. This morning, Qatar Foundation and GE formed a new and very significant partnership in which we will jointly develop advanced medical technologies and deliver them to Qatar and the region. It truly positions Qatar as a major contributor to global health solutions. When I talk to my colleagues in Qatar, I realize that QSTP is doing so many things, it can be hard to grasp what we are at heart. Let me try. QSTP is an engine that drives forward applied research, technology, and development in the country. We are creating an environment and the means to build human capital and spawn new technology-based industries, the building blocks of the government's long-term vision to create a post-carbon economy. On a personal note, I would like to thank their highnesses for entrusting me with this task of creating a small island of research at QSTP. My grandfather sailed the waters of the Arabian Gulf 100 years ago to make a new life in Africa. And my destiny was to come back via the US and Europe to these waters to serve you. I hope I have done that to the best of my ability. In 1676, Isaac Newton wrote, if I have seen a little further, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. And so, dear friends, this would be. I wish to recognize the contribution that so many have made to bring QSTP to life tonight. Of course, there are too many to mention by name, but on the screen behind me now are some of the key people who literally created QSTP and who have been responsible for its development. I would also like to acknowledge QSTP's devoted staff, of whom I am very, very proud. To my colleagues, our partner companies, and the people of Qatar, I extend my gratitude for your unimaginable support. It was 40 years ago this year that man first landed on the moon, and I'm sure you know the unforgettable words of the astronaut Neil Armstrong as he stepped out of the lunar module onto the moon. One small step for man, one giant leap for humanity. For us in Qatar, it is one small step for Qatar, one giant leap for research. Dear friends, we are waking up to a new dawn. 
made possible by the vision of the Emir and Her Highness and the memory of a golden age. I hope we will work together with our friends from all corners of the world to create a better future for our grandchildren. Thank you and shukran. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs> فالمشروعان معا يرمزان للأسس والمقومات التي بنينا عليها رؤيتنا الوطنية التي عليها نعول ونرتكز لتحويل قطر إلى دولة متقدمة إن الاستثمار في الإنسان القطري هو اختيارنا الراسخ الذي به تتشكل هوية مجتمعنا القائمة على الجمع بين قيم الإصالة واستحقاقات المعاصرة والاستثمار في الإنسان يعني بالدرجة الأولى بناء مجتمع المعرفة وهذه الواحة التي ندرشنها اليوم إنما نؤكد من خلالها التزامنا المطلق بمواصلة خططنا لأجل تطوير منظومتنا التعليمية في, جوهر في جوهرها لا في شكلها ذلك الأصلاح الذي نعول عليه لتمكين كافة أبناء هذا الوطن ذكوراً وإناثاً كما أكدنا ذلك مراراً وسنظل من تنمية قدراتهم